Bye, dog. Bye, Bobby. Off to the office. I've got a really cool one for you. Step one of getting the bone stock GSR set up to running a 10 reliably and consistently. First try every freaking time. Today begins now. Today's album of the day, which I haven't done in a while, and I'm gonna just do kind of whenever I remember to, but today's album of the day is it was written by Nas. I am kind of working my way through Nas's discography. He's regarded as one of the best rappers of all time. I'm personally a big Jay-Z fan, not as a human being, but love his music. And of course, the Notorious B.I.G., but we're doing Nas right now. I'm doing a deep dive on Nas. So today, I'm rolling through It Was Written. So far, I'm liking it. Friends over at Throttle sent out the coil packs for this coil and plug conversion. Huge thank you to them for that because they're working perfectly. I've already tested it. You guys haven't seen it yet, but I've already tested it. They're working perfectly. If you guys are watching this video because you're looking to do a coil and plug conversion on your own Honda B series or Honda D series, or you just need coil packs, link in the description down below to this exact product and use my code boosted at checkout for up to 15% off your entire order. And every dollar spent on throttle.com is a chance to win their Audi S4 plus $20,000 cash. Thank you to Throttle for sending out these coil packs. Good luck to you guys let's get back to it all right now i'm sure that you're all aware by now that we're doing a coil and plug conversion to the bone stock integra gsr engine a company called nomis industries reached out to me about a month ago and asked if he could coil unplug retrofit my ecu and send out all the stuff i would need to coil and plug retrofit the engine that's a no-brainer for me the only thing is i have heard lots of um, not so confidence inspiring things about coil unplug on Honda B series. So I responded to them and said, yes, I'd love to try it out, but I'm going to give my honest opinion no matter what. If I love it, awesome. If I don't, I'm gonna tell you guys that. I've heard that sometimes these systems can be a little bit finicky, but I've really only heard that about the Honda system. As far as I know, this is probably the coolest setup. It is completely plug and play. Yes, like literally completely plug and play. Check this out. This right here is the harness. This plug right here goes to the ECU and the rest goes up to the engine. These four obviously go to the coil packs and then all we have left is the two pin dizzy plug and a ground. The rest of the kit is literally inside the ECU. Let me show you. Up towards the top there above all the colorful wires is a little chip that Nomus Industries soldered in. There's a little, there's a little place for me to plug it in right up top. And that is the unit. So far, this kit is checking all the boxes for me. Easy to install and simple, and hopefully like big benefits in terms of ignition cleanliness. My car has kind of always had this little misfire at idle ever since I did the bigger injectors. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, maybe, just maybe, this kit will clean that up. If it does, I'm gonna be super stoked. If it doesn't, 
whatever. As long as the car runs nice, AFRs are clean, and it's just smooth, I'm gonna be really happy. The only thing that's a little bit more intrusive on the setup is that you do have to gut the distributor, and then you install this little cap here in place of the dizzy cap, which also is going to look incredible. I'm gonna get started working. You guys can finally get started watching, and uh, I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Right off the bat, the coil and plug plate wouldn't fit on my valve cover because I have a powder coated valve cover and I'm sure the powder coat is just on there really thick. There just wasn't enough room for this plate to fit in those little half circle areas. So I ended up drilling out the holes where the studs go through. So that way this thing could have a little bit more wiggle room and it would fit nicely, which ended up working. <laughs> Let's see if my little mod. Oh, let's go. Is it? As far as it goes down. I'm gonna be getting new hardware for these. This is just for now for the install. And then we'll run to the store and pick up some new M6 1.0 nuts. <laughs> sense to me. There we go. <laughs> Get it plugged in. And then we can tuck these old dizzy wires. Yo. Yep. All right, so obviously the two pin dizzy plug goes to your harness. Yep. The other dizzy plug, do I still plug that back in or do I just leave it chilling? Uh, the big guy, you yeah. plug that back in. Okay, cool. And then do I have to worry about any of those wires inside the distributor? Like, shorting out or anything or literally do i just zip time and do a little they're, bundle they're technically disconnected um but i always tape it all up just for due diligence especially since you're going ham with that car you know <laughs> okay fair enough all right so you would say probably tape them up yeah just 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 yeah i mean i have customers just kind of tuck them away but that's really up to you um i i personally tape them up all right i ran this thing through the firewall it just gets plugged in up top. I was trying to show you guys this earlier. It's just so hard to film up in here. Okay, here's what we got. It's the way she goes. I'm gonna get her bolted back up. All right. The only other thing I was told I'm supposed to do is reflash my tune onto the ECU. Now, I'm excited to see if my little idle misfire is gonna be gone from this. That would be really dope. I was also told by Simon that with coil and plug, you don't even need to gap down your spark plugs. I'm at 20 thou right now on the spark plugs. He said the plugs that I'm currently running, I think come pre-gapped at 30 thou. And he said that I'll actually gain horsepower by opening the gap back up to 30 thou. I'm gonna leave it at 20 thou, but if I get new spark plugs ever, or if I need to play with it for whatever reason, I can always change the gap on these. All right, we're fired up. Tune is loaded. Close that. Unplug the ECU. We're gonna fire this baby up. 
Well, the install was super simple in my opinion. That was actually such a breeze. Shout out to Nomus Industries for developing this kit in this way. Literally no soldering, no wire cutting, unscrew, unbolt, bolt. It's basically it's basically a bolt-on coil and plug kit. That's what they should call it. You should call it a bolt-on coil and plug kit. God, it's so easy. Or, or I guess plug and play is probably a better word. Anyway, here we go. Firing it up for the first time. I'm excited. Let's see. It didn't fix the rough idle, and my car is probably gonna shut off here. It normally does that, don't worry about it. I still gotta send Mikey like a cold start log so he can revise it, but I mean, you know, so far it's, it's running, and that's, that's something. It sounds like it's got cans. Oh, that's dope. We're taking it out for a little drive. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do here. I don't know if I'll try any poles. I do have the intake on, so I could suck something in there, which would really suck. I'm gonna probably just take it easy, uh, maybe hit boost a little bit, and then when we come back, I'll throw the filter back on, so that way I can take it out and like not be scared of sucking something into the turbo, and we'll try a little bit harder pull, maybe. I didn't get very far, but the car is still doing that really weird idle that it was doing two videos ago on the way back from Rudd's Racing, where it's like surging and dropping. Uh, I don't know exactly why. I'm gonna see if anything's going on with the uh, ethanol content sensor in the tune. See, now it's fine. It's like when I clutch in right away, it just can't hold itself at idle. I'm gonna go see what's going on there. Yeah, see? It's like about to die. I can assure you, this is not from the coil unplug conversion. This was already happening before I installed it. I don't know exactly what's causing this right now. Nonetheless, it still is very annoying. Two hours and two Arby's sandwiches later. All right, I finally received a revision from Mikey. We're gonna go ahead and test it out, see how it goes. I'm optimistic. We'll see. I noticed in the revision that he increased IACV or idle air control valve duty cycle and also increased the idle to targeting 1300 RPM, which it seems to be holding. Let's try it on the street. All right, here goes a little GoPro action for you guys. Cruising down the street, coming up to a stop sign here. Hopefully it's good. Ayo. Perfectly. Nice. I had to wait two hours in a motherfucking Arby's for this shit. He titled the revision. He thinks he's so funny. He titled the revision Meat Sweats. Turbo noise. 
Precision 5858. Man, real turbo life. Man, it's good. Real turbo life is good, boys. eBay turbos are fun, but dude, Precision 5858 is way more fun, I'll tell you that. Get a little two step under the tunnel for you. <laughs> well, it's pulling pretty hard. It is breaking up a little bit. Uh, I think the tune just is not very dialed for this climate. And also it's definitely making way more boost than it was in Florida. So it's probably in and out of boost cut all the time. But for the little bit of rips, I was able to get in there feels good and uh, I'm excited to see what this baby's gonna do on the track in just a couple months. Interesting, after doing a couple pulls it's now idling under 1000 RPM. Even though it's set to, even though it's set to idle at 1300. And it was idling at 1300 earlier. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Hopefully nothing's broken. Getting lots of burbles and backfires too, which I don't really like very much. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, coil and plug retrofit. What is the point of this mod or coil and plug conversion, whatever? Again, this is a kit from Nomus Industries. This kit is very similar to say like the Burton Racing Kit. Obviously, like I said, plug and play. So that's, that's super nice. Thing number one that I have to say about coil and plug conversion. At the absolute bare minimum, at the absolute bare minimum, if you get anything at all out of this whatsoever that you can 100% quantify, just from installing it in your car and getting it running, is that it looks sick. It is so freaking cool looking. B-Series Quan Plug, I don't care what anyone says, it is so dope uh, in my opinion. I think it just, it looks super badass. And any car that you see with this, you just automatically think is fast. I've always wanted to do this to my car, so I'm pretty fired up that Nomis reached out to me about this kit. I don't necessarily have like a 100% answer for you guys on whether or not I love it or recommend it. I know that people say that you can make more power with coil and plug because you can open up the gap of your spark plug, which means there's more spark, which means you make more power because more of the fuel gets burnt. I know that people say you get better gas mileage on it because again, you can open up that gap and then more of the fuel gets burnt, which means you make more power, which means you use less fuel. There's a lot of benefits to coil on plug versus traditional distributor. Let me show you guys something. These are the old guts of my distributor, okay? This is the distributor cap, as you guys all know. You know what this looks like. I'm gonna use this in a second to show you guys something. And these right here are the guts of the distributor. This thing right here is the coil. This is what is inside the distributor that is responsible for creating the electricity that is the spark at your spark plug. So the idea here is you got your distributor and uh, boom, 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 your engine's running, your coil's in here. Okay, cylinder number one, time to fire. Coil creates electricity. Oh, snap, my light died. All right, so the coil creates an electric charge uh, or electric current inside of the distributor cap and specifically to whatever wire is needing to fire, like whatever cylinder is needing to fire. So let's say, it's the shortest, it's the easiest. Let's say cylinder number four needs to fire, okay? The rotor, the rotor comes around inside of here and as you can see inside of there, there's four like metal points. Each one of those metal points is for a spark plug wire and the rotor, is obviously, and mine's pretty burnt, is uh, going, it's just spinning around with the uh, camshaft, right? The idea here is that when it passes each point for each like cylinder wire, it's gonna send that electrical signal or electrical current down the wire to the spark plug, creating spark. Okay, anyway, that was long convoluted, but that's a distributor, okay. This is one coil. As far as I know, this coil draws 10 amps. This is what I heard in uh, an SP tuning video, actually. This coil draws 10 amps. Each one of these coil packs 
draws five amps. So therefore we have five, 10, 15, 20 amps of spark, or, you know, if you were to divide that 10 amps up amongst four cylinders, what is it like two and a half, right? Two and a half amps per, per spark plug. You basically doubled the amperage. You doubled the current, the electrical current to each spark plug. So you have a much stronger spark on each cylinder as well. Stronger spark means less prone to spark blowout, which means boosted applications are gonna benefit from this big time because you know lots of boost, lots of turbulence in the combustion chamber inside the cylinder. High boost suffers from a thing called spark blowout, meaning that the turbulent air fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber can actually blow out the spark before it's able to combust, which results in misfires and uh, it's called blowout. It sucks. So anyway, if anything, this looks incredible, but if anything else, it increases reliability and efficiency of your ignition system. Almost everything else on this entire setup has been beefed up in one way or another, and that was something that I've been wanting to beef up for a long time now. I might make a follow-up video on this Namus Industries kit to kind of let you guys know what I think of it long-term, but for now, I'm gonna say that it did what it's supposed to be doing. It's running, fired up first try, haven't had any issues. All the plug and play stuff has worked very nicely. So props to Namus for creating a quality kit. I'm gonna be doing my testing and logging for my tuner, and I'm gonna be sending him some logs to just kind of see what he thinks of how this thing is performing, and we'll see what he says. Uh, that'll be probably in a future video though. It's all gonna be long term. So that's about as far as I'm gonna go for today's video. The Quail and Plug Kit is installed, it's tested, it's set up, and it's running and driving on the Quail and Plug Conversion Kit from Namus Industries. I would keep this vlog going tonight, but I'm going to dinner with Kearney's family, my girlfriend's family, um, for like a family dinner. I wanna respect their space, so I'm gonna leave the camera here and uh, I'm gonna have to pick it up in the next one. Super excited to get this Quail and Plug Kit installed because this is just one more thing that can help us go tens. More spark equals more power equals, I think, safer power. So I'm pretty excited and uh, got some good rips out there today. Anyway, my challenge of the day for you guys, which I think I forgot to do in the last video, maybe even the last two videos, don't buy one thing that you wanna buy. So say you're walking around today or tomorrow and you see something on a shelf and you're like, oh, that's cool, I want that. Say it's a pair of shoes or a shirt or a belt or some jeans or an iPhone or whatever it is, just don't buy it. Odds are you don't need whatever the thing is. It's gonna cost you money and it's just adding to more junk that you're gonna have in your house and more stuff that's ultimately just gonna end up in a landfill in a couple months anyway. So turn down buying one thing. That is my, I guess instead of, instead of buying goods, buy a service. Go see a concert instead or something, you know, save your money on the goods, spend it on a concert. That's my challenge of uh, the day today or some racing event or something. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm stoked on this setup. We deserve nothing, earn everything.